If you're not already familiar with Jordan B. Peterson, you should probably look him up and listen to some of his talks. He's got a great YouTube channel with a bunch of lectures from the courses that he's teaching and also uh, public talks that he's given, various other projects that he's working on. A couple of weeks ago, he tried to go to McMaster University in Canada and give a talk. He was met with what appeared to be a few dozen militant social justice warriors, and they effectively shut down his talk. He was able to go outside, and the people who wanted to hear, they could, they could finally talk to each other. But they did effectively shut down his talk. In my opinion, the actions of the crowd are morally reprehensible, politically dangerous, and probably criminal, criminal actions. But they come from, a, from an ideology that is prevalent on college campuses, and a lot of the faculty probably agree with what they were doing. So I guess the dean and the provost and whoever's in charge said just, you know, stand back and let it, let, let it happen, which is probably an abdication of their responsibility because if this kind of thing keeps on happening, someone's eventually going to pull a knife and get stabbed, right? So let's compare the two groups. If you look in the front row, you see everybody sitting quietly. They're kind of pissed off because they came to hear a speaker and they can't hear the speaker speak. If you look in the back row, you see a bunch of people shouting, holding flags, banging on tiny little drums with drumsticks. Here's another view of the crowd. You see a bunch of pissed off people sitting quietly, and you see the protesters lining the wall. So how do they actually shut this talk down? If you look at this picture, you can see someone standing probably 10 feet away from where Jordan Peterson is sitting and they have a megaphone and they're just blasting it out into the crowd. So uh, basically what they do is anytime that he tries to speak, they just start speaking over him with the megaphone, and there's really no way to defeat that. So speaking over somebody with a megaphone, it's kind of obnoxious, but I guess it's not really too bad. This next picture that I'm going to show is where I think they start getting into criminal territory. So here you have... A person, you'll see her in, the, in, in probably the next shot, she's a blonde woman. She's got this little uh, air canister, the one that makes the really loud noise, the air horn, and she's pointing it probably two feet away from Jordan Peterson's ear, and he's trying to speak here, and she's going to blast him right in the ear with this air horn. I would view this as a criminal act because she could be damaging his hearing. I'm sure it says on this can, don't, don't do this to anybody. If the administration at McMaster University had any guts, they would have had some kind of security people present and throw this person out for doing that. Let the rest of the people protest, let them do their bullhorn if they want, but, but this particular thing is just beyond the pale. So after this, which I think you know, starting to verge on a physical attack. And it must have hurt him because he gets up, uh, Peterson gets up and turns on these people and starts to try to talk to them. And the guy who's standing right there next to him banging away on his drumsticks uh, looks away, you know, and he's got a shit-eating grin on his face, of course. And the woman is smiling a mischievous smile, which shows that either she doesn't know that she could be damaging his hearing or she doesn't care. But this th looks really bad for McMaster University. I guess the administrators were just hiding away somewhere, you know, watching all this on closed circuit TV and biting their fingernails and hoping that this didn't escalate any further, but they certainly weren't there to do anything about it. To the credit of Peterson and the people who came there to see him talk. You can see in this next photo, this is what you get from all this provocation. You get nothing. This guy is a class act, and so are all the people that came to hear him speak. So his argument is that if you let the social justice warriors have their opportunity to do whatever they want, they'll just make asses out of them themselves. And that's what they did. That's what they did with this protest. All the people who came to hear Peterson talk kept their cool, and they came off looking good, and so did he. So they went outside, they had their talk, and these totally intolerant people on the left were exposed for what they are. 
They've got ideas about identity, but they don't have any good ideas about free speech or even physical integrity, for Christ's sake. Last thing, I need to thank YouTube user Graviton for posting this video and making the nice subtitles for it.